you've come to the right place. If you're looking to create, launch, and scale a high value online training program. I'm your guide, Chris Badgett. I'm the co-founder of Lifter LMS, the most powerful learning management system for WordPress. Stay to the end. I've got something special for you. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome back to another episode of LMS Cast. I'm joined by a special friend and repeat guest, Jonathan Dimwood. He's from WP Tonic. That's over at wp-tonic.com. Welcome back on the show, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm like a repeating rash, aren't I? I keep coming <laughs> something, back, don't I, Chris? Something like that. And yeah. and Jonathan runs. If you're listening to this in your earbuds on the podcast network. Um, Jonathan also has a great podcast called the WP Tonic Show. I used to listen to that show uh, a lot in my early days of WordPress, and um, and so now you, you I, don't, I you don't, you're not listening to it now, then. Not as much, but I do oh, come, come on. Come on, Chris, that's a good start to this interview. Isn't it? I do come on his Friday roundtable show semi regularly, which is a really great discussion on on things that are happening in tech and WordPress and even in the e-learning space. But but I want to get into it with you today, Jonathan, on what you offer over at WP Tonic. I've watched you grow this, um, this hosting like and specialize and focus in on the membership site creator that solves a bunch of the friction and the hassle that comes with WordPress. So to, to start, just for the listener, if they haven't heard of you yet, Let's say on one end of the spectrum, we have Kajabi. And then on the for someone who wants to do a, a membership site or online learning thing. And on the other end of the spectrum, there's somebody who's never really used WordPress and they, they hear about all these tools and plugins and hosting and things they need, video hosting and all this stuff. You sit in the middle. So can you kind of lay out this landscape of the two ends and then what you do at WP Tonic? Oh, that's only a small, it's like one of my questions, isn't it? <laughs> Talk about, it's multi, oh, how long have we got? <laughs> I don't know, but I must be uh, having some influence on you, Chris, as a <laughs> podcaster. Um, well, I think in some ways it's also linked to the road of WordPress because we're in a very strange kind of, you can feel it in the WordPress community, but um there's been some fundamentals improvements in what WordPress can offer, which have diminished really in my eyes, the value that something like Kajabi brings. Um, no offense to the Kajabi team because um, I am really embedded in the WordPress ecosystem and community, but Kajabi have been excellent on, on their marketing and their marketing message. And then they've not been shy at pointing out and attacking what they see as the fundamental flaws of WordPress. I think a lot um, of software, like in the e-learning space, they always attack WordPress. It's like a, a it's a thing they do. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. Uh, um and many of but, them have WordPress to like do their their software marketing site. They're they're literally yeah, using WordPress always, while they attack it. it. Yeah. It's always hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, but um, so they've been. But the reality is that um, with marketing automation um, software being available in native form for WordPress and and the ability to build landing pages and and plugins like yourself, Lightlifter LMS, um, it's become much easier to build something that's much more flexible that you own, that is the equivalent or better than Kajabi. Um, and that you you honestly couldn't say that about eighteen months ago. You probably couldn't honestly say that without a lot of knowledge, a lot of hoops to um, jump through. But in 20, in the middle of 2021, I would say that what 
WordPress can offer is better and more powerful and you have the design and functionality um, ownership and possibilities which you cannot get with a system like Kajabi or any of the other SaaS based learning systems. But there is a slight problem. The problem is that it, in some ways there's too much choice in the WordPress community and there's too many experts, too many voices for understandable reasons trying to market themselves, build a business just like myself, just like you. Um, and there is no one perfect way of building a, a membership website or a learning uh, learning platform. Um, but I think I, I think there is a clear way of building a system that offers the most functionality, the most flexibility. Um, but there's so many different voices. It causes a lot of confusion for somebody who just wants to build a membership site or a learning platform to know what is the best. They're just It's just too much choice out there. I see that where people are in these like shopping modes, like even today, like I, I don't always take sales calls, but this person was so like um, uh, just lost in the sea of options in and outside of WordPress. And they just wanted to talk to somebody so that they can make the right decision. And they're exhausted for, through how much they've been uh, just exploring all the different options, not knowing which way to go. So you at WP Tonic, created um your own hosting options that basically has all the stuff you need all in, rolled up into yeah. one package that makes sense it's the, it's the true all-in-one tell us about the this hosting package yeah. well what we're attempting is to bring the best of breed of what is available from different um, plug-in for providers like we offer your plug-in because we think it's one of the best of breed if you're looking if you're really serious in building not just one course starting off with one course but you're looking to build a real business online around education you should really start with a learning management system at the core right and we feel that your platform is one of the best in the WordPress ecosystem. And then we use Fluent CRM because we think it's one of the best that offers marketing automation. So I could go through, we have a very extensive list of plugins. Um, and we I'm just gonna, I just wanna read these off because just to help the listener, imagine going into like Costco or Walmart or something like that with all these options. And then you have like curated this down to best in breed stuff. So in addition to what you've already mentioned in these packages are Buddy Boss, Astra, Elementor, Affiliate, WP, Short Pixel, Convert Pro, WP Fusion, Mail Poet, Cart Flows, Amelia, Essential Add-ons, Ultimate Add-ons, Uncanny Automator Pro. And that's just the plugin stuff. People need that's almost, more. It's over three thousand dollars worth of software there, isn't it? Yes, and people need all this other stuff, whether they realize it or not, like, um, uh, like security monitoring, backups, video hosting, image compression, all this less sexy and stuff. It, you includes, put in there. It includes yeah. a very generous email system as well with a basic plan. You. 5,000 subscribers, you can send unlimited um, broadcast marketing and yeah, marketing and the internal email to those 5,000 subscribers. That's that's unlimited, that's extremely generous. This is the thing because I mean, well, we kind of position Lifter LMS as an all in one solution, but it's not entirely accurate because you still need all this other stuff to make the thing happen. but I think yeah. the, the beauty and the simplicity of what you've created over at WP Tonic is that they just have to go to one place and sign up. So it, you know, and I want to yeah. I want to be clear here because I wasn't totally clear. It was a feeling. It was a, a frustration I was having 
um, that created WP Tonkin and the way I've taken the business over the past two years. It came from the frustration of dealing as a freelancer with clients anyway. Um, well, it's been over two years. It's been almost a three-year journey. Um, is that I seem to be having the same conversations, but but it's clarified to me what what the other real core thing I need to get across is that we we choose the bre- the best of breed, but what we are not doing, and I I don't want to be overcritical because it's just a philosophy. It's just my opinion. But what we're not doing is what Thrive themes and some other theme plugin platforms offer, which to me, is, what they offer is understandable, but it's the worst of, of all worlds is that they're offering a enclosed garden based on WordPress. So you don't get the benefit of being able to choose from the the best of breed. You're enclosed in their version of WordPress, but you then don't have the kind of true kind of integration and slickness of design that you might be able to get from Kajabi. So in the way, the kind of platforms like Fry Themes, and this, uh, hopefully I'm not coming across as too critical because they would they would have their own arguments against my one. So the listeners will have to make their own judgment call and the team at Fry Theme, Shane and his team are excellent people. But I think going down that route where it's the enclosed garden of their plugins and they have their system and it, you know, it doesn't work that well with outside plugins is the worst of worlds. What we're offering is we make sure all the plugins work together and we support what we give to the client. And also we keep everything secure and we provide quality hosting, which is another when you're starting, most people do not understand, and they're actively misled about how much and what will work for them. There's so much disinformation about hosting, isn't there? Um, We try and provide a, a solution that offers them all the benefits of WordPress and diminishes some of the painful parts of the experience. I've always said that the the benefits of WordPress without the hassle is like a great uh, kind of value proposition or or um, way to position something that you've done here by putting a customer at the center of your business, like the 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 would be course creator, coach, membership site person, and then surrounding them with the suite of tools that they need at a great price without um so they get best in breed and at the same time they still get the flexibility of of wordpress and everything but they're not starting with a blank screen scratching their head like realizing that they're only uh 10 percent of the way through what their their shopping journey for tech the only bugbear and i i've had to really work on the language and the offering is that we offer really great hosting and as a free part of our setup, we can set up the whole thing for the client using a theme, one of our themes from the Astra family, and we can set up Lifter LMS with WooCommerce and Cartflows. We set up the whole thing with a dummy course that you provide. At the present moment, we're we use Alimator, but obviously at some stage we might change that and offer Gutenberg and Alimator or just go to Gutenberg. We're totally open. We're not religious at WP Tonic, um, but we will set up the whole thing. And in the near future, we're going to be improving the onboarding and the educational elements that we provide. 
But what, in a long-winded way um, that I need to get to, yeah, we can set up a dummy call, set all the structure, but then you'd still have to go in and learn how all these bits work. We haven't at the, we have a long list of videos that you provide, other people have provided. We can send them to the client or send them to those videos, but they're still going to educate. We're going to centralize that using Lyft at LMS. Um, but you still have to do it. And a lot of clients still, and but in truth, you would have to do that with Kajabi. And I think sometimes Kajabi, I'm trying to be totally fair, but I've got to say that I think they push their marketing a little bit too far. They actually give the impression that you won't have to read uh, if you're not used to setting up a website or a kind of website application that you're not going to have to do an enormous big dive with Kajabi. But that's not the truth. You're still going to have to read up and learn all the bits. Well, it's the same thing with us. We can't we can set it all up, but you're still going to have to do a big dive. But some some clients, they think somehow we're going to do everything for them for $55 a month. Well, that's why you're in the middle. You're not like, uh, you're, you're not like, uh, there's software and then there's service, right? And you're, you're kind of, you have some service elements to help them get started, but it's not a complete handoff kind of situation which is what allows you to do such great pricing is we, we offer fully custom you know customizing the home page semi custom of the whole website full custom build up build outs and we offer that service as as one of our packages and we get you know and it starts at $1500 um which i think is excellent value um, but we do, you know, we do do a lot to assist. And then for the people, um, we will keep all the plugins. And as long as the people um, that are using it, if they want to install a plugin that we haven't installed, we will do it for them. As long as we can test it and see it doesn't make the whole website unstable. So we do that as part of the $55, plus we provide all the security backup and quality hosting. So it's a superb value. Plus we got asked for those people who think um, that they got, you know, when they build functionality, they would want our assistance. We offer all sorts, um, a five layer, of support packages for all types of people on their journey or connected to how they're building their business. So we offer a lot of choices and a lot of flexibility, Chris. Yeah, I think that's really smart. And again, this just shows, I, this is how I believe in building companies as well, which is you just put the customer at the center and you surround them with what they need. They need a site, maybe they need some, some uh, custom work, some service, and uh, maybe they want like a recurring support plan. You, you're just basically giving them, you're solving all the pain points. And if they want to solve, they have to pay for it. Um, let's talk about one of your customers. I know you had a, a music instructor on your site. What, yeah. Tell us about that story. Uh, uh, just like the relationship, like how, how do you fit into that musician's, what that musician wanted and needed? And, and the site's been up for a long time and doing really well. Like what, tell us about that yeah, experience. Scott, he's on our, if you go to our um, design packages, um, he's on, on that particular page. Scott, and this, by he, the way, is at wp-tonic.com forward slash portfolios. Yeah. Um, he, um, he's a, a very good, I'm not a, I love music, but I have no musical talent. Uh, so I can't judge, but he, um, he has a very large following on social media um, as a saxophone player. And he came to me because he, um, he was extremely frustrated. He loved your plugin. I won't name them, but they're a very well known 
um, hosting provider. Yeah. And he was with them and they had given him a merry chase about promising him things that didn't materialize. And uh, it was all fine. Um, what a lot of people forget, um, and a lot of them it won't apply because they haven't built up community. But if you have built up community and then you just unleash a course and you don't stress test it, things are not going to pan out, especially with what I classify as gross mis misinformation that unfortunately a lot of big name hosting providers give to their clients. I'm not going to name it individual hosting providers a it would expose me to to their anger and secondly it's it's an industry-wide problem um of giving poor advice and unrealistic price levels which shows itself as soon as the course goes live and it just melts in front of of the um entrepreneur and, the, and who do they blame they don't blame the hosting they tend to blame lifter lms and wordpress in general um but the truth is they're crappy hosting they're they're godforsaken hosting so that was the situation he was facing he had done a very effective job of promoting he had all the right material he's an expert he's yeah. got a following i'm checking out the site now which looks incredible yeah. And at this time, uh, at this recording, this is a, uh, it's around $30 a month and there's like nine courses in there and different pathways for skill level and stuff like that. I mean, he had, I can see this guy had a, like a really clear vision of what he, he knows wanted. what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and, um, but he was so, so, and I had, I'm always available for a chat through the website. I've made it really easy to book a zoom and, I try and have these as much of these conversations as I can personally, like yourself. You still try and keep yourself available. Um, and he was, he had a Zoom with me and he was so, so fed up. So, so he said, I just want to be a musician. Yeah. I just want to offer a course. I just want to offer value. And I just don't want to deal with all this nonsense. And yeah. he came on board. And I think, I can't speak for him, but I think in general he would say his experience with WP Tonic has achieved exactly what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, looking at it, it just, this looks so solid. And I can tell, like, he's doing what he wanted to do and the site does the job and it looks beautiful. It makes the money happen. Uh, he's getting his recurring revenue. Uh, there's a... Musicians. Everybody's happy. It's a yes. win-win, isn't it? Yes. And I'm sure he's getting, you know, way more, a multiple on the, a very high multiple on the value that uh, you're, the price that you get paid. He's, you know, he's making, he's doing like way, I, I like to say in business, when I design a product or a service, I want my customers to at least get 10 times the value. Usually it should be like a hundred times the value. So if Scott, you know, was paying <laughs> that. Well, know. that's a high metric, isn't it? But uh, uh, well, that's how you... I think about it. Like, that's what that's how you make a no brainer offer. Like, when I look at your offer, you know, you've got like three thousand dollars worth of software rolled into a low monthly price. I'm like, so you have tons of value, and then your services and just your industry expertise and your client management skills and everything. But um, it must be. You know, you're, obviously, you're not going to name names either, but you must be, because of 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 your type of plugin, you must be extremely frustrated with the misinformation and the nonsense, the enormous amount of nonsense that's spread around about hosting and WordPress. It's 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 truly. I mean, when I think about it, the mission of a company like Google, Google's mission is to organize the world's information. The stuff that ranks high in a Google search as somebody like this musician is shopping for software and tech and trying to get to the truth, trying to, is like 
really challenging. I understand why this in, this industry is just it's it's so hard for people to find their way. It's and uh, it's kind of like the Wild West, I guess. <laughs> but um, as I'm glad that you know you've popped up and are I watch you make a pivot from to really focusing in on this type of customer. And I think that uh, as you get to know this type of customer, which I've been working with for about a decade, like they have very specific needs and that journey into getting where getting the tech where they want needed to be so they can then focus on all the other stuff they need to do as an education entrepreneur is quite, uh, there, there's a lot of landmines to step on going the through. The other factor, the other factor, and, you, and hopefully you would agree with this, I think you're going to, the other factor, which is endemic, um, is this problem of people, business owners, le- I call them learning entrepreneurs. I think we've only seen the start of this industry where it could go with learning. Le- learning is going to be the growth most important industry of the 21st century there's no doubt in my mind yeah learning that. healthcare and finance are these these are the big meta trends areas that are disrupting and just changing rapidly right now but uh, what i've seen with a lot of people in you know um and i'm not i'm not sure if it's peculiar to the wordpress community it's not specific this is what i'm gonna say um specifically doesn't uh, apply solely to lifter lms um is that people when they get in and they're looking to build their business and i suppose it really depends if they've got any kind of budget or they're just doing this totally bootstrapping and they really haven't got much resources i suppose it really does depend but let's say they've got some kind of resources they still get sucked into this world of what theme should I be using? What plugins should I be? What marketing optimization plugin in the WordPress ecosystem? I sh- what, and they get sucked into it. And what they should be concentrating on is how am I going to effectively market this first course? How yeah. am I going to get the beast rolling? How am I going to get this business? And they forget about that is the most important bit. They just get sucked into all this other stuff that I feel doesn't really matter. Yeah, a couple of a couple of things there. I'm, I'm also obsessed with this problem. There's like three main things in front of which plugin and which theme and the tech and whatever. The, the most important ones for you folks out there listening is who is my customer? That is very important. A lot of people are very inward focused. Like I want to make money online. I, I'm, I need to, I want to have an online business, but flip it around and focus on who is my customer. The other one is content. Like, am I creating free content? Whether those YouTubes, podcasts, blog posts, something that's going to be in place to start planting the seeds of attracting my target market and then the third is community how am i building community or interacting in other communities like i see you jonathan in a i i have a a facebook group as do you um but i i also go out into the world so like the membership mastermind facebook group it's a great by mike and callie great group of people i just go in there and he borrowed he borrowed me from that Oh, <laughs> well, I, I go in there and I, I help people. And the key with that is to not be overly I don't think he liked, you know, being he's a fellow Englishman, I don't think he appreciated my humor, Chris. Yeah. Um, yeah. But community building is super important, whether you start a group, the website and which plugin, if you don't know who your customer is, you're not doing the reps and the sets on making content, getting into that putting some out for free, not just trying to sell everything in the future and then community building. All that stuff is super important. Yeah. It's not which form plugin should I use? Well, you've got to have a functioning website and yeah. you've got to have people to be able to register and pay for your course. People, um, it's you've made it pretty easy to do it. it. It's just that people have a tendency to 
when they're starting out, they want to kind of build something which is suitable when you're two to three courses in, when you've already, when you've established there's a market, there's always a place and time. This isn't done and you walk away. This is something you you will be working on and building out. And it's a live, it's almost like a living organism. That That's why I think about it. Yeah. And you hopefully it grows. It's not a static You've got to get everything done at all at once. And having a really good, reasonably good-looking website and having the basic functionality and then really concentrating on the three things that you've outlined is the important thing. But I see so many people just get... I don't know what it is, and I, I think you've thought about it a lot, but we still, I still sense, and I might be wrong, that you still haven't formulated a complete answer and I haven't they're still sucked into this world where they they think of the more complex it is the more the navigation the offering the size of the calls blah 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 and they they totally forget they've got to build up a community they've got to market this this course I think I might have an idea here of what happens uh a couple things happen one of them, like if we, this is like building a house, right? And in the old days, you build like a really small cabin. And then as your family goes, grows, you keep adding on to it or whatever. Um, because the internet is predominantly consumed through these little screens on, you know, laptops and smartphones, it makes, we, we kind of, it's a magic trick where we forget that to build something on this little teeny screen I don't need the skills of like a master carpenter builder person. And uh, what ends up happening is once you start learning, it becomes very empowering. It's almost the, the power is addictive. Oh, I, cause I remember the first time I put like a video on YouTube or I put my first WordPress site up and it hit me that anybody anywhere in the entire world on a, with an internet connection could look at this thing I made. I felt that was just such a mind blowing thing to me that, I mean, that made me addicted to WordPress and here I am 10 years later, like still doing stuff and making tech. But I think that power is somewhat yeah, intoxicating. And, and it's not only applies to learning, man, it applies to marketing automation. I think the same. Like I've, funnels or something like. Yeah, they're very important and you yeah. do have to, but I, I've known clients and it's not, it, it's, been around keep infusion soft active campaign they've like I, I won't go too much because the client the person might be able to identify themselves but i've had a couple of client possible clients looking at to move to wordpress um and their marketing automation was with active campaign and they they've tried they've shown me what they set up, and, and sometimes it's been done by themselves, a combination of being done by themselves and by an outside consultant contractor. And you look at it, and it's, you would literally need a course to understand their own marketing automation. You yeah. literally would have to do online calls to understand it. You literally would have to charge them $500 to spend the five hours to understand how it was all set up. And there's a certain level where what you get for a return for the time and money you're investing just gets smaller and smaller. There's a there's a place, the go, I call it the Goldilocks area, that if you spend the time and money, you, you get a big return. But yeah. As it gets more and more complicated, more and more layers, the return you're getting, and actually it can go the opposite because your focus is away from what the, the whole purpose of building this website is about, which is offering education to people. Um, you lose focus and it actually be quite, it can be damaging, can't it? Yeah, I think it's a... I think I might call that like the over engineering trap 
And all of a sudden you're off on a tangent on some design animation palette form funnel thing. And you forgot all about your core customer and what they were trying to do. Um, that's, that's good. I mean, it's, uh, it's important to look at this and, and in a lot of what we're saying here too, these are all lessons we've learned the hard way on ourselves and stuff. So it takes, it takes, um, you know, the more I, my first site, I, I tended to over engineer things and the more advanced I got in WordPress, actually, the more I started to pull away, strip away, use less tools, you know, get really back to the basics and fundamentals. So don't beat well, yourself you know, up if you're learning and things are a little messy. That's how we learn. But uh, the master uses very little, you know, they don't. Yeah. This, they keep simple and elegant. I mean, that's what Apple, yeah. why we like Apple products, and right? You know, as an experienced entrepreneur yourself, that to repeat, to repeat service and functionality, you really got to try and keep as much in control and as simple as possible, because by doing that, you can repeat, wash and repeat. Systems. Wash and repeat. Yeah, but processes. If it can, but if it gets really complicated, that wash and repeat isn't, you just can't do it. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid point. Um, this is Jonathan Dimwood. It's been great to have you back on the show. He's at wp-tonic.com. Go check it out and go check out his hosting options and check out all the tools and the great pricing and what you can do there. Because if you're looking for the simple path, in the Goldilocks zone, as John describes it, like you're getting the best, you're not overcomplicating it. Save yourself the months or years of shopping and and trying and all these different tools and just trying to figure it out. And maybe, you know, uh, 20 weeks of your life on YouTube trying to just decide and just go with the go with one of these plans. Um, any final words or from the people on how they can best connect with you? Well, it's just great. It's just great to see a, a learning entrepreneur using your platform with our hosting and our supporting tools getting success. You know, it's a kind of, I think it's on my About Us page. I, I think I say your success is our success. Yeah. And we really mean that. You know, if you're successful, we're successful because you're happy. And if you're happy, you'll tell other people to come to WP Tonic. And that's what we want, happy hosting and support clients. That's awesome. Well, thanks for coming on the show again, Jonathan. Again, he's at wp-tonic.com. And go listen to the WP Tonic Show podcast as well. It's, it's a great show with lots of um, great guests. Jonathan has some really great guests on there that can help people just like you. Uh, you do a great job with that show. So oh, thank thanks you, again Chris. for coming. Thank you, Chris. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And that's a wrap for this episode of LMS Cast. Did you enjoy that episode? Tell your friends and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And I've got a gift for you over at lifterlms.com forward slash gift. Go to lifterlms.com forward slash gift. Keep learning, keep taking action, and I'll see you in the next episode.